for your next. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Thanks for the hearing and pulling this topic together. Y'all, thanks for the testimony as well and to be able to bring these things together. We do need to get permanency in the tax code. Uh, what we're discussing uh, currently right now is a temporary fix, but we need to get some permanency uh, to our tax code so it, it is predictable. I heard multiple of you to say, basically, get the tax code set and leave it alone. Uh, make it business friendly so we can actually hire people, buy equipment, do those things, and to be able to set it. I have the Align Act that deals with the bonus of depreciation to try to make this permanent, and so it is predictable. Uh, this has been bipartisan in the past. Uh, every year since 2000, we've had some kind of bonus depreciation, except for 2007. Uh, this hasn't been a partisan issue for us. It's a basic pro-growth uh, policy on our tax policy. I'd like to be able to get it, get it set and to be able to leave it there. Ms. Silver, you, you mentioned a lot about this bonus depreciation piece and some of the investment, obviously a big gap uh, in your shop floor right now waiting on a piece of equipment to be able to come. <clears throat> Talk about the difference between if we, 60% uh, now, as you mentioned before, uh, just scratch that. If we just set it and just leave it alone, obviously north of 60%, because that's not the tax piece that you need at this point, what is it on the permanency that makes a difference? Because there is some conversation to say the bonus depreciation should just come in in times of economic downturn and not be normal standard policy. Should this just be set in permanent, or is it better when it's just in an economic downturn to turn it on and off? Definitely permanent. Uh, planning, uh, taking risks, innovating, uh, wanting to be here for the next 80 years requires a permanent, stable, consistent, um, common sense tax code. Great. It's what we all expected to be able to hear, but it's where I think we need to head. And obviously next year, as we sit down and talk through a lot of the tax issues as well, we've got to find a way to be able to move this from over the next two years, it has this to as far as the eye can see to be able to get this set so that we know what policy we're actually going towards and where we're headed on this. Some of the challenges that we've had has been on hydrocarbons, Mr. Huntsman, as you brought up as well. Uh, it is remarkable for me to be able to sit in this room at times and to be able to hear a conversation about ending drilling or ending hyd hydrocarbons. And I sit in this room and think, the carpet's made of hydrocarbons. That little sign right there is made of hydrocarbons. This is made of hydrocarbons. This bottle is made of hydrocarbons. And the belief at some point we're going to just turn all that off and that's going to work out well for our economy is just factually not true based on what's happening both in chemical production and in energy production, trying to keep the cost down. What we've seen is a rise in cost in hydrocarbons right now that is unnecessary in some ways. And the IRA, when it came out, specifically targeted oil and gas production to be able to target them to raise their taxes significantly. Every one of you can deduct your everyday expenses. Every one of you can deduct your everyday expenses unless you're an oil and gas producer. And now you can't do that anymore. So that particular type of manufacturing was pulled out and punished in the tax code in the IRA. And the result that we've seen is higher prices. Now for oil and gas, it means higher prices for manufacturing, higher prices for the consumers. So the challenge that we have is how to be able to actually protect those mid-sized businesses as well that they don't have to deal with higher tax burdens as well. The Protecting Domestic Energy Act is an act that I have on this. I have a letter, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to be able to enter this into the record. Uh, this, this comes in from uh, the uh, American Exploration Production Council and Domestic Energy Production Alliance, what we know affectionately as AXPC and DEPA. Those organizations saying, hey, we need to find some way to be able to not just deal with tax code for this manufacturer, but all manufacturers actually have fairness in the tax code as well, that they're not specifically targeted. So my question on this is, when we start dealing with the issue of hydrocarbons and start to deal with all of the, the challenges that you have dealing with China and what um, Senator Crapo was saying as well, all the issues about anti-dumping, and I wanna drill down a little bit on that with you, Mr. Huntsman. How difficult is it to make a charge on dumping on a trade charge as far as the legal fees, the challenges of it to say, not only are my own treasury is, not, is allowing an exception for a Chinese company, which drives a manu American manufacturing out, but if you want to make an anti-dumping charge on China, how technically difficult is that? And is that something this committee, who also has responsibility for trade, needs to take on? 
In the uh, 30 years I've been president of this company, I, I don't think we've ever initiated an anti-dumping charge, not because it doesn't occur. It is just too long, too complicated, and you rarely ever see it through to fruition. Uh, it would be it'd be great if somehow we could just streamline that process and, and come to a conclusion quicker. We're not asking that justice be more our side or anybody else's side. Just let's just do it where you can come to a conclusion quicker. Yeah, I've heard that over and over again in steel, for instance, and all kinds of manufacturing to say, we know the dumping is happening, but it's too complicated, too expensive, takes too long to be able to do it. So we just shut down manufacturing rather than actually charge anti-dumping and the American consumer and American businesses and jobs continue to get hurt. Mr. Chairman, I know this is a tax conversation, but this issue I, on trade is exceptionally important you, for you, this committee to take you, on as well. You got me at hello on the whole